We're now going to begin the Web Services Integration Activity. Users can enter contact information into an online form, which is then sent to a Dell Boomi web server. An Atomsphere process will then validate the information and return the responses as new contacts were invalid emails. Valid contact information is sent via email to the appropriate team member for logging and reporting. So I have begun by creating a Developer 3 folder and then creating a folder underneath of it to house my web services processes. So we are going to click on the process library. We're going to narrow down by education services and if you type in web services you will see two activities come up. The first one is web service client and the second one is web service activity restful. We are going to take the second one, which is Web Service Activities RESTful, and we're going to install it. We're going to install this into our Boomi Training Developer 3 Web Services folder. And click on View Process. We're now going to begin by configuring our web service RESTful process and we're going to begin with the start shape. Our start shape is a listener. It's a web service server and the action is listener. We do want to choose an operation. We're going to create a brand new one. So we're going to click on the plus symbol to create. And we're going to call this create contact. The operation type, there's a number of different ones you can use. The one we're going to be using is create because we're creating our contact. Now as we're building this, our simple URL path will be adding information to it. So as we type something in or we do something here, you'll see that this will be extended. We are now going to type, the object type is going to be contact. The expected input, we're going to be looking for a single XML object. We're not going to enter anything for the response profile at this time, but our output, our expected output, is going to be single data. We will not be entering anything in for the result contact. We'll be working with the default, which will be text plain, and there will not be any attachment cache needed. Once you do that, you're going to click on Save and Close. You're going to click the OK button to save it to the Process Canvas. Next, we will open the Decision Shape. So for our first value, we are going to click on the magnifying glass, and we are going to enter in a prospect I'm sorry, we're going to enter in a profile element. This is going to be coming from our flat file. And we're going to select for our profile, contact, and our element is going to be email. We click OK. Now what we want to do is we want to see if it's an email, and if it is, we are going to look for, instead of equal to, select all the way down here at the bottom, matches wildcards. And those wildcard values are going to be entered in as a static value, and it's going to be star the at sign star dot star. So this allows us to find email addresses. We're going to click OK to save it. And now we're going to come over and we're going to configure our mail connector. We will be sending out a value. We need to select our connection. So our connection, we will be selecting it. 
It will be from our pound sign connection folder. It's Boomi Training, our mail connector. We do not enter it, we select it. If you do not have a pound sign connections folder, it'll be in your developer one daily customer wins folder. Now we need to create a new operation. We're going to call this new operation, new contact validation. This is going to be from boomy train at gmail.com. And what we want you to do is to enter your own email address. So I'm just going to enter one. It's going to be boomy trainer at gmail.com. We're going to skip the subject, but the deposition is going to be in line. And we're going to leave it as text plain. Once we finish this, we're going to click on Save and Close. We'll click on OK to save it to the connector. Now the reason why we had our email subject as emptied is that we're going to be setting this in our mail connector. So if it's true, it will have a static value of new contacts. If it is false, it will have a static value of invalid emails. The last thing that we want to do is we want to add a return shape at the end of the process path. So we'll look for return documents. We're just going to attach it at the very end. And we want to save. Next, we want to deploy our process. So we're going to come over to the Deploy tab. We should find our process down here, our Dev3 folder. We're just going to highlight it. We're going to come over to Attachments. We're going to move it over to Production. Come back to Deployments and deploy the latest revision. And we'll just call this Initial Deployment. And we've completed the web service activity, the RESTful portion of the class. Now what we're going to do is we're going to install our client process from the process library. Once again, I'm going to select web. And you should find web service. And this is the client, so we'll install that. You can place it in the same directory. Now, instead of using a third party application to call the listener, we're going to take advantage of the HTTP connector to use Boomi Atmosphere as the web client. So, as we build this out, we are going to be navigating between Atom Management and the Build tab. So at this point in time, we recommend that you have a tab open for each. Which is what I'm going to do now. And in this one, I'm going to have Atom Management. And in this one, I'm going to have my Build tab. I think what I'll do so what I've done is I've split the screen so you can see what's going on between the two so we're going to open up our HTTP client connection on our web service client we click on configure and we're going to take a look at the connector 
Now we have some information that we need to enter in the connectors. You can see it says enter base URL and enter username. So we're going to need to populate these values. The other thing that we're also going to have to populate is the password. So as we mentioned on our other tab over here, what we have opened is we have move that over. We have our Atom management. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up our Atom Cloud. So we're now in our process. We have our web service client over here. We have our Atom management over here. We are going to go into our HTTP client. I'm going to click on the edit symbol for the connection. In our connection, we are required to enter a base URL as well as a username. We are also going to be entering a password. We're going to be getting this information over here in our atom management section. I'm just going to bring that over. I have selected our Atom Cloud. And what we are going to do is we're going to select Shared Web Server. It has the location of our base URL, and it has a little Copy button over here. What we're going to do is we're going to click on the Copy button, and we're going to copy it. And we're going to just bring it over here, and we're going to paste it. You also want to make sure that your API type is set to intermediate. If you're doing other things in your account, it might be set to advanced, so you want to make sure that it is set to intermediate. Now, I also do want to mention with the URL, the URL might be a little bit different. You might be having one called like USA West, or you might have one for Europe, etc. It's based upon where you are located. So now we've copied and pasted that over. Now what we're going to do is back in Atom Management, we're going to click on User Management. Over here, it has your username. We're going to take that username. We're going to highlight it. And we're going to copy it. And we're going to paste it over here. Now I do want to mention to you, when you do bring it over, Sometimes there will be like a tab in front of it, as I have here. So you want to make sure that you backspace to get rid of the tab. The next thing we need to get is our password. So the way we create a password is we're going to come over to where it says token and we're going to generate it. Now you have to do this in a particular order. We've generated it. We're going to copy it, and then the main thing we need to do next is we need to save it, because if we don't save it, we're going to get a 401 error. Next, we're going to come over to the password in our HTTP client, and we're just going to paste it and apply. What we'll do is we'll save and close on the client side. We still now need to set up our operation. So we'll click on the plus. This is going to be called create new contact. What we want to do, we're going to leave all of the defaults. However, this very last item here that says return HTTP responses, we're going to click on that. It does have one that pops up that says process responses meme. We're not going to do anything else with it. And make sure we click on the save button. Now we are going to do one more place, 
and I'm going to bring it up over here, go back into our Build tab, and this time I'm just going to bring up our RESTful activity. And in our RESTful activity, we create it in our Create Contact section, a simple URL path, and it's called WS Simple, and then it's Create Contact. So we're going to copy that from over here. And we're going to come over into our web service client. We're going to go to our create new contact, the operation, and we're going to scroll down a little bit to where it says resource path. When we get to resource path, we're going to click on the plus symbol to add an element. We are going to remove this, it says new item, and we're going to put our resource path in there. However, we have white spaces in front, so we want to remove any white spaces, and we also want to remove the leading slash. And now we're going to press save and close. All right, I'm going to press save and close over here. Save, save and close. So everything is now closed up on both sides. We're now going to run our process. So we'll click on the test button. We will select our test atom cloud and we'll give it a run. So for our result, we have received two emails. They're both from Boomi Train. The first one is telling us that John Smith com is not formatted correctly or Jane Doe dot com is not formatted correctly. However, the two that are formatted correctly, John at Doe dot com and Jane at Smith dot com. So our process works. This concludes our web service activity.